And again, I had to update and use Google Chrome to access the account. I don't know. Let me... To do that. Yeah, it's not showing people. You're trying to join, but you're not even seeing it to join, right? Mm -mm. And I'm... Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Two people. Yay. There was a lag. Massive was a lag. weird lag. Really long lag. Hey, guys. We started and restopped. This would be the third time. It kept not loading for some reason. I don't know if it's lots. It could be lots of people are on Facebook or doing streaming or live stuff now. I'm not quite sure what it is. But anyway, you made it. Thank you guys so much for coming out in our new time slot. We'll see if it works. I'm hoping it does. Um, The whole reason we picked this time slot, Ange, was so that we could um, not conflict with Sophia's online schooling where she's basically in zoom meetings all afternoon. Yep. And we Today didn't want, first day. we wanted to keep the uh, streaming here as clear as possible. Uh, hi Dan. Thanks for coming. Uh, I'm glad you were able to see the memo that we changed the time. I'm sure it'll take a few days for some, um, people to realize that we, we, we bumped the time up. Um, All right, we've got some familiar faces. Oh, good. Eric I'm glad. Berker. Eric, it, you know, the show isn't really going to start, and <laughs> until Eric Berker Should've is been, here. Really yes. got his name in the logo. Yeah, so. it really. <laughs> yes. Yes. With. Hey, Dan Hardesty. With Welcome Ange. Back. And. Eric. Brennan Power. Welcome Berker. Back. Yes, there you go. You guys, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, look at Brandon is like coming in swinging. He's like not messing around. It's like, okay, yeah, all right. Get, okay, let's just like, get yeah, right what, to work, dude. Draw. Start yeah. drawing. <laughs> Enough of your of your jabbering. So um, before we get to drawing today, we are going to do drawing by request. You pick it. I draw it. I figured that'll be kind of fun, especially we spent a few days on the computer. I was ready and itchy to get back to my drawing table. Um, and we've got more recyclables. So we've got... We've got a printout of the Finnish logo. We have working printouts of the logo. Here's some ink test, and you asked me to draw an eye. Yes. This is all. There you go. And a Tony D original you can own. It's really framing. This definitely is going to look great as a frame. Anyway, these are all recyclables. One lucky person's going to get to enjoy these lucky recyclables. And we'll pick it participate i will i will pick it you know what i'm gonna pick somebody right now oh i am picking brennan power brennan power brennan look power, at that you're getting some goodies today you've brennan been here with us i think almost every day nice so um if i didn't if, pick you today don't be sad you could don't be, be sad we'll send you, every you know, day there'll every be garbage to be. send we're just cleaning out a recycle bin. Just just cleaning mm-hmm. out. make sure you send an uh a direct message either to pretty much send it to me it's probably quicker we'll get it out in the mail send us your address yep send us your address where you want it to go we'll do it and hopefully they're sending in requests if they are i'm there ready to draw some, uh, Wow, this is going to be good. First of all, I want to say shout out to Marisol Kosaba, to your hairdresser. (gasps) Oh, hey, Marisol, Marisol, you don't even want to see what I look like, but it is slowly (laughs) turning into Tom Hanks and Castaway. So you'll have lots of work to do when uh, when I do see you. With someone in a plastic bubble. (laughs) Yes, yes. Um, I'm ready to draw, Ange. So I think um, you... Tell me which ones. Um, Someone mentioned a... Hold on one second. I want to say. Okay. So somebody just mentioned... Uh, Vicki Lee said, I should be more active in the chat. I really want some for my Tony bookshelf area. Nice. So here's the thing. Okay. So we're all on here together. We're all... asked in case you missed it. Yes, feel free to participate. Throw your hat in the ring. Comment. Ask questions. I'll share them with Tony as he's drawing away. As yes. we command him what to draw today. That's right. Um, and the other thing is, please feel free to share this. Share that you're watching and um, maybe some other people will have a good time hanging out with us. So yeah, that sounds good. Share all that good stuff. Um, and then each day we're going to pick who gets some goodies. Yeah. Um, okay. Kim Borchardt. And I'm sorry, I'm so bad at pr- Borchardt. I already saw what she wrote. I'm, ar- I'm on it. it. I'm already on it. So we... And golly, apologies if Mary Grand Prix is watching. I, 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 you'll always be my illustrator for harry potter mary so um oh, yeah come on she's awesome michael nichol i don't know if it's nichol or nickel but michael i like nichol just because it rhymes it rhymes has been a fan for a very long time he even made his own spiderwick movies back in the day yeah he did hey brook nation 
Okay, so uh Okay, so Kim, Kim. said how about Dumbledore? All right, so I I don't have the book in front of me. So normally what I would be doing is looking at the, what the author put in the text to kind of figure out um how best to do this. And I I'm it's just killing me because I really think if I'm drawing Dumbledore, I'm drawing him more vertically than horizontally, but that's okay. Um I always pictured him kind of owly with a kind of a like a long I mean honestly this just looks like the things I the little gnomey wizardy things I draw all the time anyway. I know he's got the the half moon glasses. The only thing I remember she uh, uh Joe Rowling specifically puts in her text that I remember off the top of my head. I don't remember anything else, Ange. Well, I can look it up. Um, of how he's described. So if this was an actual assignment where I was working um, in a book, on a book, and I've been given the manuscript, I always look for what the illustrator, or what, what the illustrator, what the author, how they've described the character. So for in the case of Dumbledore, I know the half moon glasses off the top of my head, but I don't know anything else of how she describes. So I don't know if this, I'm, this is the hat I always think he's wearing in okay. the, in the film. I pulled the, the description for you. Oh, um, Ange has the description. Book one, chapter one. Okay. How is he described, he Ange? He was tall, tall, thin, thin, and very old. Very judging old. Judging by the silver of his hair and beard, which were both long enough to tuck into his belt. Long, silver, hair. And beard. Okay, I'm with you. Beard tucked into his belt, long enough to tuck into his belt. Yeah, yeah. He was wearing long robes. Long robes. A purple cloak. We don't need to worry about the purple. Which swept the ground. Yeah. And high-heeled buckled boots. Oh, oh. Never like he, saw that. Never I did. Mean. Maybe he had a um, a height, like he was vertically challenged. But no, it said he was tall. The prince were. Kind yeah, of. Um, yeah. His, yeah, it said he was tall. His blue eyes were light, bright, and sparkling. Blue eyes. Behind half moon specs. Half moon specs. Those. And his nose was very long and crooked. Oh, crooked! But look, as I got... though it had been broken at least twice. Oh, ouch! All right, so he's got a broken. And blue eyes. Blue eyes. So this is what you do as an illustrator. Baby's right? got blue You're eyes. You're looking it up. All right, cool. Now I'm going back to my window with all you guys. Like a uh, deep blue sea. Awesome, right? Thank you guys for the love on that. Doo -doo. There it is. So love button. I always want to press the hearts too. So you know what's interesting about this, Ange, is so what I would do. Now I'm doing this spontaneously right now, right here. So he's very old is I would also, so what it doesn't describe is his hat, at least in this original initial thing. So I might, notice how instinctually I tried to draw a hat that you would see in the movie. So I'm going to change that hat. I'm going to give him a different hat. Some kind of different wizard hat. I don't know what that hat's going to be. Again, I'm drawing horizontal today versus vertical, which is totally, like, I almost, you know, if this was a vertical sheet of paper, you know, I would just start like this, like this shape for him. This very tall shape because I want it to contrast against like if Harry was standing next to him. You know what I mean? You get this kind of shape next to, you know, Harry Potter with and his little, you know, kind of shape, right? Joanne Lone, by the way, is drawing with us and says, I hope it's okay. Um, I'm drawing with you. Hope it's okay. Of course. What? Oh, man, that's awesome. I That's what the whole point of this is like, let's just hang out and talk as if you were at a drawing table in the studio here with us. Feel free to share and tag Tony in those or tag him on Instagram with your drawings and yeah. then he can share them too. I've been trying to do that. People have been and I'm trying to keep up with it uh, amongst everything else. It's been a, obviously a strange week for us just like it's been for so many other people. Uh, you know, truth be told, you know, there's a lot of terrific um, drawing uh, videos that are out there now by many friends that we've mentioned before. Obviously, Mo Willems is, has been, uh, has gotten incredible coverage. I'm so excited for him. Um, Jarrett J. Krasaska has been doing stuff. Um, I saw CC Bell is doing um, some things. Ryan Higgins, some amazing picture book people. And um, we're not, those are Barbara really... McClintock. She's drawing. She, well, she's been reading. She's been books. reading, reading. Yes, yeah, so I'm talking about drawing. She's here now. Oh, hey, Barbara. It's good to uh, see you here. So they are doing these these drawing uh, programs for younger artists, and 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 I'm 
I'm more like, let's just draw, and I'm going to draw the stuff I normally would draw. Plus, Angie and I will sit and take your questions and talk about what this and that and everything that's going on and just have a good time and, and feel like we're all together. That's, well, that's I mean, the nice. thing I we want. Have, we have someone, we have Dennis Friss Scram from Denmark with us oh, right now. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I mean, come on, how cool is that? And then we have Michelle Dirgaby Pergerd Sondengard, also from Denmark. Like Denmark Very in the house. cool. Represent. I love Denmark. That's amazing. That's so cool. So cool. That's what I love about um, about the interwebs. Uh, you know, so I, I was thinking about that because, Angie, you and I have been talking about should we move this to YouTube and – and do it there. I be, I, my concern is obviously if we move it to YouTube, I can pro, I can record it in such a way that the quality will be much higher than what you're seeing now. However, the thing that I love the most about all this is that we're real time talking and hanging out together. It's about as virtual of a hangout as we can get. That is my favorite thing. And you and I are riffing off each other. We're riffing off all the um, people who have come to hang out with us. And I, I know YouTube has a live thing, but I just don't know if it'd be the same. I, well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Megan says, uh, would you mind if I streamed at the same time as you? I don't want to have your audio playing in the background unless you're okay with it. Whatever works for you. This is, I'm not that precious with any of this stuff. It's, it's really just, let's hang out and, and I'm going to draw and I'd be doing this anyway. And so. Carolina Sabula, Poland in it. Poland's here too. Nice. So we drew a Dumbledore ish. He's kind of, he's kind of dumb. He, I, he, Harry. You know, he's very. Again, any apologies for anyone from Wales or England? It's I, my English accent is is absolutely horrible. I'm How just, long did it take him to grow that? I mean, did he ever? He probably uh, never yeah. cut it. It's interesting that it says it went all the way down to. His belt, and yet I've never, even in the movies, it was long, but I don't know if it was ever quite that long. The first guy who played Dumbledore in the films, I felt um, the guy that passed away, I can't remember who it was, it was a really known actor, his beard and hair felt longer. It felt closer to what you've just read, Ange. <laughs> He's very Merlin, right? I like that he tucks it into his belt. That's cool. Well, does he? It just said he, it was long enough yeah, to long tuck. to tuck into his belt. But maybe he would do that if he was, like, cooking. I, or he, maybe he'd flip it over his shoulder. I don't know. Um, I feel like there'd be symbols on here, and they wouldn't be moons and stars. They would be Hogwarts things, and I don't know what the, that is. The houses? Yeah, maybe yeah. little, yeah, all the houses and things like that. But um, anyway, here he is, a, a very uh, preliminary. Um, this is, uh, I'll just shade this a little bit so that we know that it's darker than his hair and beard that and because it said it was purple and said he had purple robes right yes kind of fun i um yeah, i would i would definitely shade the hat if i was doing this in color and maybe we'll do that next time i would definitely push for these the clothing to be real dark to to set off the really what uh what was it silvery hair oh my gosh how much food does he get caught in that mustache oh how now how much bacteria is in that he thing he would probably have to wear a bib of some sort when he eats well didn't they wasn't there a thing not too long ago where they said we looked at how much bacteria is in a oh, God. in a man's beard and we compared it to a dog's mouth i think and and the beard won <laughs> so this beard's got to be although he's probably got some kind of magic beard oil that he bought at Hogsmeade that, you know. Anyway, there it is. There's a, a very preliminary Enjoy. sketch of Professor Dumbledore. Um, we, we wrote down how he was described initially in the first book. And, um, and you know, just a very quick sketch. Um, he it, does magic it away. That's good. Um, if I was doing this vertical, and hey, you never know, maybe we'll come back to this, I would have used this shape kind of for him and then kind of contrasted that with, with Harry's shape. So Harry's like a little triangle with a big ball head, and then he would be like this amazing tall triangle. You know, Angela, I got, I feel like we, I'm just gonna, I just feel like I need to do this for Sophia, our daughter. If I'm gonna do, um, Dumbledore. You doing Snape? Oh, Snape, yeah. I don't know how Snape's described. How is Harry described? I feel like that would be the one that would be kind of... Let me find out for let's you. Let's see how Harry's described. Because the one in particular, I want to know if the glasses are described as round 
or they're just glasses. I'm going to find out for Find you. out for so me. So basically what I'm doing is, let's see. Do, do, do. And I mean, gosh, you, you want book one? Any? Yeah, book one. I think where she originally describes him. Okay. I'm sure it's elaborated on in further books. So Harry looks like what? Okay. I'm going to find out here. I'm getting there, so... I, Marzia, uh, I, I may be saying your name wrong. Uh, I'm glad to hear you're safe in Italy. Hang in there. Be well. We're thinking of you. Um, Ange and I love your country. It's our, it's our motherland where both our, uh, ancestors came to America from. And, uh, at least I know you're eating well, really, really well. <laughs> Sorry. I got kind of a far away look. Black messy hair and green eyes. I do remember that, David I remember May. That too. The black messy hair. Like I want to say the hair. Like every time it got cut, it grew again or something. There was something to that. Let's go with the black messy hair. Okay, so uh, you uh, find perpetually it perpetually untidy black hair. Okay, he, Un black hair untidy. Okay. His mother's bright green eyes. We know that. We, we, everyone seems to tell him right up until the last book. You have your mother's eyes. That's right. Green um, eyes. Lightning bolt shaped scar on his forehead, which we know. Yes. Small and skinny for his age. Ah. With a thin face. Thin face. Wow. And knobbly knees. Knobby knees. Wait, what about the glasses? And round eyeglasses. Round. They are round. Okay. That's what I wanted to know if they were round or not. Because can you imagine Harry with different... Um... And what was it? Slight or skinny? Skinny for his age? He was skinny for his age. Skinny. Okay. That's good enough for me. All right, so we're going to use that to kind of go from, and this is, and you can vouch in the, all the time, I've drawn things for Sophia. I don't think I've ever drawn Harry Potter no. for her before. I don't think so. So this will be a first for me as well. Um, and he's 11, I think, in the first book, right? So he's, he's 11 in the first book. So he's skinny. I feel like he's got a round head. Big old cranium. Again, with apologies to Mary if she's if she's watching. It will not be better than yours. No. It will not be better. No. It's just fancy pants fan art. I love I would think that the uniform would be kind of untidy. I'm like deep in this website. That Pottermore or whatever? No, it's not. This is like some British website. Solomon's Guide to the Magical World of Harry Potter. Mm. So it goes through. <laughs> it's pretty, I don't know how, uh, when the last time it was updated. But... Yeah, I feel like Harry's maybe uh, not slipped in popularity, but it's, it's, it's not, probably not as current because they're not n new books coming out any longer, you know? Well, and we uh, we re revisited, we did the Hunger Games, too, recently. We, we did do that. Ah, uh, here he is. Mm -hmm. So does he have... Okay, yes. Oh, my God. Just, uh, but it never says bang. Like, what would his hair be like now? If he was an 11-year-old now? He had a thin face, knobbly knees, black hair, bright green eyes, wore round glasses, held together with a lot of cello tape. Yes, I do remember. Because of all the times Dudley had punched him in the nose. So maybe that face narrowed. If you're watching and go back, you'll see how I instantly just took the baby fat off of his face and made him more... I'm feeling... Like, if get untidy, I just feel like it's in his eyes or it's... Well, you know, I mean, we saw that kid. So what we were at Harry Potter World recently. Can you tell we like Harry Potter? Um, and when we were there, we saw this kid get off one of the rides. And Tony and I both looked at each other and we were like... Holy cow. That's Harry Potter. Yeah. Like, I that kid feel was like Harry Potter. A kid with untidy, it's, it's in clumps. It's long. I don't know if this is the right shape, but I feel like... There's something there. Let me get the eyes. I feel like. It was thick. Do, do, I remember that. Do we know if, if his eyes are, if he, I wonder if he's nearsighted or farsighted. I wonder if it ever says. That's a, 
That's a question for fans. Was Harry Potter near Sawyer Friday? And the reason I ask is if he's... That's me of work from Sword in the Stone. Yes. If he was nearsighted like me, the glasses would make his eyes smaller. But if he's farsighted, I believe the glasses would make his eyes look larger. Yes, his hair wouldn't behave. And you're right. The Dursleys wouldn't have got his haircut very often. I, I thought there's a... I think there's after. a thing they say where his... I also feel like right now the trend is for glasses to be much larger. Now, what I'm I'm fighting hard is the young Tony that I always draw, although it's it's inevitably in there a little bit. And they were way, clothes that were way too big, huh? Yeah, I remember, well, he's wearing Dudley's clothes, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I'm feeling that mouth seems weird. Mm -hmm. What's that, Ange? When you said that, I was like, yeah, I think so. I was thinking, oh, I like him. He's shading up. He's getting there. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, that's right. Petunia cuts his hair off, but it grows back overnight. I remember that. Yeah. The neck is a little long. Let's push it. Yeah. Oh, they do cut it, but it grows back. Yes. I feel like everything is mis... Even foofier. Yeah, I, I, I think the more hair we put on his head, the younger he's going to look. So it's that finding the balance of... Yeah, like... But no one's really drawn him this, where the hair's like this unkempt, which I kind of dig. Oh, I'm just put a little piece of tape here so I don't have to be conscious of it. You guys, we're so glad you're here with us today. Thanks. Now, here's the other thing I would do, Ange, and we probably talked about this. I would certainly, if I was... Uh, Holly and I have even talked about but if, if I was uh, illustrating a, 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 cl a classic like this today, I would certainly try to figure out where I could encourage some different skin tones into the main central characters I think would make it really cool, you know? And I think, I think someone had said that that's happened now with the, I haven't, we haven't seen the live show, but I believe that now, um, Hermione is depicted as a person of color, which I think is awesome. Um, hey guys, hey Eddie Gamara. Eddie, what's Eddie, going on? How are you? I don't know how their robes like. I don't know the. I'm guessing there's a hood thing here, and I don't. If I had to design them, I would make these kind of flowy wizard robes. I feel like they put like an. I want to. I know they do an emblem on the thing, but I almost want to do a thing on the shoulder. I don't know. Kind of different. I know there's probably a. A Gryffindor kind of thingamajig here. Well, the emblem on the on the front is very is very British school, like yeah, kind of British school. school, private school. Yeah. Or I don't even know. Well, maybe. Well, in America we call it a private school, but it may be over there. It may be. Um, I just swapped out pencils, by the way. Just did you see that? I I was prepared, Ange. What are you using? Just so you guys know. Uh, it's a very high-end pencil. Can only be found in certain places like drugstores yes. and staples. Very, very hard. Don't go to the staples or the CVS near us because someone's been hoarding them and that someone would be me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, with the, you know, the little cheap little uh, nubby <laughs> need erasers. need to Amazon those. Yeah, need to Amazon <laughs> them. Hoard them. Um, so today we are doing drawing by request, and yes. someone requested Dumbledore, so and, T. Drew Dumbledore. And I'm making good on a promise. Last week, some point, we talked about me drawing Harry Potter, <gasps> whom I've never drawn before, ever. So this is a, a first, and... Um, T, I have an idea. At some point, you know, we've been talking about you doing a painting of Soph. Yeah. It would be awesome to do, like, her... Hogwarts portrait. Oh yeah, well it'd be cool to paint it like right, paint it like paint like it. yeah 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 to paint it. Like, yeah, that'd paint, be paint a Hogwarts portrait would be so cool. Yeah, her with the unicorn painting. Yep, we get some really ornate, cool frame. Oh, is the boss coming down? Come see what Dad's drawing. I'm drawing this Look for what you. Dad's drawing. Look what I'm drawing for you, <laughs> Soph. What do you think? Yes. Doing? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wish I could show you. <laughs> My kid's face, but it just, I was going to say we should give this to one lucky fan, but I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> uh, it's not going to, it's not going to happen. I think my kid just claimed it, but, um, we will, we'll do more. What do you think, Soaps? It look pretty good? Mm -hmm. So mom, mom 